brokers. Okay. Actually, you will have all seen the John's works out there. One more beautiful than the other. So it was really a difficult task choosing the paintings. It was like searching, you know, the good ones, like searching a needle in a haystack. It was that difficult. But it took us a while and in the end we came up with a show. And there you see the work. Beautiful. Uh, see, as you look at John's works, uh, each each one of his paintings are, as she said, one better than the other. So it's it's for us to decide now which is better for us. But there's not even one painting which you look which will say it's not good. So it becomes very very hard to choose the top and then you know go down or whatever. So you know this is like his his top works. You see, and uh, as you look around, there's beauty in each and every piece of work which you see here. So for me, it's it's been it's. It takes a lot of time to do this effort to put all these all these paintings here, but but you know John's work is such that you will find your pieces which you like and which you want to rate as your top, and then you know the next and next and next. So it's it's a long process, but it's it's really fun doing it, and finally this is what we have. Excellent job, very nice. Okay, Sushma, the last question. आपसे आपको कौन सा सबसे favorite कोई if you if if you have to pick one, so which was the one which Like well, that won't be fair because it's very. That will not be fair <laughs> because, yeah, because it's it's very different. There are no two pieces here. जहाँ पर आप देखकर कहेंगे they are so similar or they have the same feeling or the same vibe. But I have to say the one that had me stumped, like I stopped, is this one. The speaking eyes. It is just something about the strokes. यू नो हम जब साड़ी बांधते हैं तो उसकी जो प्लीट्स गिरती हैं फैब्रिक की टू डू दैट इट इज स्ट्रोक्स ऑफ ब्रश इज सो कैजल इज ब्यूटिफुल बट दोज आईज ओ माई गॉड दोज आईज शी इज अपेरेंटली राइट नाउ अ मम ऑफ टू आई वॉज जस्ट आस्किंग शी इज एन एक्चुअल मॉडल हु पोस्ट फॉर हिम एंड शी इज इन स्विटरलैंड सॉरी यस वी नो हर नेम रुचा रुचा सो दैट इज रुचा वैद्य वैद्य एंड दिस इज How amazing Agnes is! She remembers everyone's names, where they are, yes, and what they're doing. Me, and she's actually uh, the muse for John, who also got him all of her students, because she's a teacher with the convent at that point. Uh, and they became further inspirations for him to paint. There she is. You have one live model right here. Come say hi. So one of them is here. I was so fascinated. That's her painting. I'm going to show it to you in a minute. There she is. John's painted her a few times. Right there. Okay, pan camera. <laughs> Unveiling, okay. but that is very, very sweet. The story of John and Lord. I know me there. 
So my love story is that good. Yeah, yeah. My love story is No, and I know it by heart. So I haven't been able to get over the simplicity. Very, very nice. Ready? Oh, perfect. Ta-da! Let's let's unveil this properly. So we open it up from the back. And then we turn it Ready? One. Ready? Background score ready? Yeah, ready. Yeah, yeah, ma'am. Yeah. Yeah, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. Ma'am. Thank you, guys. Look at her, man. I love. I just, I just love the space. She is gazing beyond. Oh, it's so close to me, actually, gazing beyond. Love it. Thank you so, so, so much. I will cherish it. And this is the book for John's property. Oh, you did get that done as well. Then that was his dream. So when did you One release? Thing, 2014. So you released it back in 2014. I thought that was still pending. No, it wasn't. Oh my God. Okay, so someone help. Oh wow, look at that. Ma'am, both of you. Oh wow, look at this. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Thank you very, very much. I wish you all the Nandini, thank you for It's nice meeting all of you. Thank you. Tell us about John's exhibition and what's your contribution in the Firstly, John's exhibition is a treat because each of his works are so exclusive in, it, in themselves. Each one is so pretty and so beautiful there's a lot of depth in each of the paintings so for me it's like the best it's you know it's right there and, you know and uh, as far as my contribution is concerned you see I've curated the show so which involves a lot of back background work right from planning the artworks we want to put right from uh, getting the invites out to people the whole uh, opening party etc dealing with the media so it there's a lot of effort put into each of these lot of detailing goes to plan a show of this size because this is not a small show as you can see there's a lot of works here and uh, it's probably amongst his best shows as well I would say and and there's a lot of small nitty-gritties which goes on behind the scenes to get it up to this level I mean what you see is the final uh, event you see now we just hope that our, my aim and Agnes's aim is to make sure that we are able to get his works out to the audience so that uh, the people can, who aspire to have his works can own them and have them in their houses, in their drawing rooms or in their offices. And that's the real, that would be the real satisfaction is to get it out there because that's what an artist always wants his paintings hang in the places of people's houses or offices etc so we just hope that oh the planning starts long back we do it in bits and pieces and uh, maybe some parts were worked on months ago and then before the exhibition the run up two months before the real detailing starts the you know perfecting it refining it and it takes around that much time and uh, this time though we were short in time we we are really about two weeks short of time we hope we had the two weeks extra so we could you know reach out to more people and we hope 
it gets out, the word gets out there so that the people can really come and appreciate his work and own them, etc. Thank you. Welcome. Actually, uh, you asked me how do I relive the... I can't get that question actually. Memories, really my memories actually, John is in my heart and in my soul. I don't, have to ha don't need to have an exhibition to relieve his memories. Because every morning, afternoon, night, I see his works. So he is there with me every moment of the day. Yeah, actually, uh, the idea of having an exhibition in Jahangir was always John's. You know, uh, one I had in 2008 in dedication after his death. And then I wanted to have actually a retrospective show, but it was not possible to get everyone's painting. So we had this one with his whole lot of works, putting it together. It was a little difficult task, not a little, a very difficult task, you know. And uh, it took us a while to search the paintings because one is better than the other. But we did it and now we can see it all on the walls. Hmm. I have to answer that. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Smita Sen inaugurated the show. It feels great. It was like John's dream fulfilled because John always felt like, you know, painting Sushmita. And when she uh, became Miss, or she was crowned Miss Universe, he uttered, model should be like shush, tall, What's that? elegant, beautiful, and dignified. These were his words. The coffee table book also was John's dream. He always wanted to have a coffee table book. And I fulfilled his dream in 2014. That was again a very, very, very difficult task searching for the best of paintings to put in the book. Because it was, as I said earlier, it was search, like searching uh, from the transparencies, searching the best transparencies, like searching uh, a needle in a haystack. It was that difficult. But we made it. And uh, we released it in 2014 at India Art Festival. And it was Anupam Kher who did the honors. Uh, I actually do not want to add anything. The paintings say a lot, and each painting has a story to tell. So you can all have a wonderful time talking to the paintings, and they will tell you the story. Thank you.